What's up guys? Hope you all are doing well. As you can see, I'm standing by my truck and I've got my trailer hooked up and it is officially time to start an amazing road trip. I hope it's amazing. I have found some vintage weights that I have wanted forever, to be fair. So instead of taking the risk of having them shipped and all of that because they're really not replaceable, I am driving across the country to pick them up and bring them back here and give them a new home. So I've got the truck loaded down, uh, ready to rock and roll. I've got a couple coolers in here. Uh, this one is completely stocked uh, with trifecta, bison, sweet potatoes, rice. That's pretty much what I'm gonna be rolling on uh, throughout the trip. And then this one has got some more uh, food in here. No road trip would be complete without having some cheesecake just in case I need it. So a little cheesecake <laughs> is in the cooler, ready to rock and roll. Um, you know, if I, if I uh, need it uh, for extra power or something, you know, I don't know. But uh, it's about 24 hours drive to get there. It'll be 24 hours to get back here. I'm going to vlog the trip as I go. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And uh, man, let's get started with this drive. All right, guys. So on the road, been driving now about four hours and uh, stop for some fuel at Fat Dogs, and it says, you are nowhere. I don't feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere. I'm in Nebraska, and uh, so far the drive is going pretty well. Uh, all I'm having to do is stop for fuel, use the restroom, and get back on the road. So we're gonna keep rocking. All right, I decided to call it a day. I think I got somewhere between seven and eight hours of driving in. Uh, lost an hour with the time change though, so it's a little bit earlier back home a little bit later here So I just decided uh, To stop in Lincoln, Nebraska. So that's where I'm at uh, truck and trailer are back there and uh, Everything I didn't even look for a restaurant. I just decided to go for uh, my trifecta that I packed So I've got two of these bad boys I try to get to sleep as quickly as I can so I can get up and hit the road I've got uh, a long drive tomorrow. I don't know exactly how many hours I'm gonna to try to cover, but uh, it's gonna be a full, full day of driving tomorrow. So I gotta get the sleep in. And uh, right now I feel all right. I feel all right. I mean, day one went as good as it could have. And uh, now we're gonna sleep and get on to day two. I am in Iowa, stopped here to fuel up. And what I've got going, if you can see behind me there is I have my little sandwich shop in the side of the truck. So in between the uh, trifecta meals, I decided to uh, get some meat and bread. I got some chips, so I'm just doing some sandwiches as in between meal snacks, which so far is working out pretty good. Uh, but beautiful weather today. Roads are open and uh, definitely making good time. Last fuel stop here before I actually get to my destination. I'm in Pennsylvania and it has been very green. A lot of trees along the road, but uh, the trees are so heavy, it's hard to see even off the road to where the gas stations are. So definitely pumped up. Uh, this has been a heck of a drive to get there, but I cannot wait. I can't wait to get there. So uh, hour and a half left to go and we will be there uh rock and roll time this is gonna be amazing i officially arrived and behind me is the reason for this trip i honestly can't tell you how incredible this really is so what what we've got here is we got a full set of roundhead uh york dumbbells which are amazing we've got a full set of the globes as well and the buns to make this a complete set. So uh, I, I, I'm pretty much speechless how awesome this is. Every single minute hour of this drive uh, was worth it to see this set. And um, I, I just, yeah, this is, this is incredible. This is something I've wanted for so long and uh, to see it here in person and uh, to be getting ready to load this up is, is kind of surreal. So the next job is to get these loaded up, get them onto the trailer, figure out how to get them secured so they're not gonna get damaged at all in the long drive. And um, yeah, then uh, start the trek back home. So I'm 
I can't say enough. Smile says it all. We're going to get them loaded up. All right, guys, this is officially day number four. I'm by the trailer. We got everything loaded up uh, yesterday. And I got to say, these dumbbells are way better than I ever imagined. I'm, I'm so, so happy. I mean, this is a, a collection of a lifetime is what I would say. So I'm, I'm so happy. Um, and I had to come out uh, today. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this or not. But look in the trailer, see how they're all uh, packed up in there. I'm assuming that's probably all dark on the video, but we'll give you guys a better look. Anyway, a couple hours of driving I got done last night after we got them loaded, um, and then I decided to pull over for the night, and now I uh, probably got, I don't know, give or take 22 hours of driving home, so got to have a big day today uh, making that happen, and uh, now I get to think about where these things are going to go in the gym when I get home, so that'll keep me occupied, I guess, a little bit during the drive, but uh, we're gonna make it happen. Officially made it back home. I pulled in the driveway here. Uh, dumbbells are safe. Truck is safe, I'm safe. Uh, crazy, crazy long drive. Uh, pushed it definitely pretty hard um, without taking much break, but uh, that's what needed to happen. That's what needed to happen. So, I'm officially home. Uh, now I'm going to go in and get some hot food. I've been eating uh, only the food that I packed on the trip. So I want some hot food. That sounds amazing. And then I'm going to get some rest. And then we'll attack uh, these dumbbells and, and figure out where they're going to go. Uh, probably tomorrow because I'm excited about that. But uh, very, very happy to be home. I'm very happy that uh, all the dumbbells are here safe and it's a beautiful day. Sun is shining. Everything is... Uh, Everything's great, everything's great. Really, really pleased uh, and tired, but more pleased. The next day. In the gym, we just moved around a little bit of equipment to create some room for the new dumbbell. So the goal is right now to have a dumbbell area. So the new dumbbells in theory are gonna go right about here. And then you're gonna walk into this amazing dumbbell area where all of the current dumbbells are still there. And these new racks of dumbbells are gonna live right here. So. We're gonna get the trailer unloaded. We're gonna see how well that theory works and uh, get the dumbbell racks together. Thankfully, the racks are easier to move without the dumbbells on them. So we'll position them and then the dumbbells will come on once we've figured out the right position for the racks. are officially in the gym they're on the racks uh, I know that when I was on the road you guys didn't get a great look at what was in the garage when I was picking them up so this is a full set of York roundhead dumbbells starting with a one pound dumbbell there and going all the way up to uh, 100 is the top weight and I have to say that this this is the best set of roundhead York dumbbells that I have ever seen. Um, for guys that know what they're talking about, uh, I believe only, only the 40s are, are USA stamped. So everything uh, is older. So when it has a USA stamp, that's um, more recent, uh, around 1990 for the USA stamped. Previous to that would have been uh, non-USA stamped. So really, beautiful set of York roundhead dumbbells. I can't stop looking at them. And over here we have the York globe dumbbells. So from uh, 50 pounds to 100 pounds, um, these are the globe shapes. So you see the round head. These are much, much older. You know, we're talking probably uh, 1950s, 1960s uh, when these were made. So very, very early um, dumbbell production. These are what you see in all the old time, you know, strongman posts. They're always lifting a, uh, a globe dumbbell, so the round heads. These are these are awesome, awesome, awesome. Really, really cool set. Some of some of these dumbbells, I'm not going to go through all of them, are, are super rare, super valuable. 
Um, and then under the 50s, you go to what is called a bun. So this is, this is the shape of the buns. Uh, so they're, they're also super, super rare, super old. Um, and they go all the way down. And then in uh, this set, we go down to a, uh, a one as well. So really, really cool. Um, a superb collection of just old time, old time strength, really. You know, this is uh, very unique. I wish that all these dumbbells could tell a story because the story they would tell would be uh, pretty awesome. And, and uh, I'm very, very happy to have them here. I think they look great. And uh, I will be lifting with these, if you're wondering. Um, you know, it's just kind of the feel of these type of dumbbells has always felt amazing to me. So to add them to the gym, I am, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I'm tired right now. I'm hungry right now. But, uh, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm very happy after the, the incredibly long road trip to get here, to get them in the gym. Uh, couldn't be more happy. So hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this video. And uh, um, let me know what you think of the dumbbells in the comments. And uh, if I should add some more uh, old time uh, strength memorabilia uh, to, to the collection. Appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Hope you're doing amazing for now. Go on and be great. We'll check you guys later.